गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टू द प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैव डिस्कस्ड वेव नेचर ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशंस ओके बाय मैक्सवेल्स बाय मैक्सवेल्स थी सी द वेव नेचर of radiation explains mainly two important phenomena of light that is diffraction and interference of light At a time, at a place, two waves can interfere with one another. This is not particle nature. And diffraction of the light, splitting of a color when passed through a prism, these are all real nature of radiations. But you know there are certain observed phenomena which cannot be explained by the wave theory. Wave nature means. The wave has a continuity. The continuity represents a wave. So, wave nature of radiation can explain these properties, no doubt. But there are particularly some properties. I mention it here. Look here. These properties. See. emission of emission of radiation emission of radiation by hot bodies hot bodies that you can also call as black body radiation the hot body emits radiations this is also called black body radiations and another one is photoelectric effect photoelectric effect this is another phenomena variation of heat capacity of solids with respect to temperature as then when you vary the temperature heat capacity of the solids changes variation of heat capacity of solids with the temperature and one more very important phenomena emission line spectrum of emission line spectrum of hydrogen yes emission of radiation by hot bodies photoelectric effect what is that i ask you variation of heat capacity of solids emission lines per ton of hydrogen these four properties particularly cannot be explained by wave nature of radiation so that is why that is why another important nature particle nature of radiation or like particle nature of radiation is also developed particularly planck's theory is based on particle nature of electromagnetic radiation planck's theory or uh, uh, quantum theory planck's quantum theory this is quantum is a discontinuous emission uh, wave nature is a continuous emission planck's quantum theory particle nature is a discontinuous emission For example, if we have a discontinuity for a wave, this becomes a particle nature. Particle. 
where is the continuous ok so if we shall have a brief discussion of these according to the textbook uh, not that much important as far as examination is concerned but as a knowledge of subject atomic structure we should learn this I think not, not much time now we will discuss look here first point that is emission of radiation by hot bodies this point I will take emission of radiation by hot bodies this point I will consider first Look here, emission of radiation by hot bodies. See, I have written another word, black body radiation. Black body word is used because a body which is black is an ideal body which absorbs a radiation of all wavelength and frequency and emits the same and emits the state. Same. That is why black body is an ideal body. So that is why black does not mean 100% black. It can be brown or any other thing. But the name has been written as black body radiation with respect to an ideal body which is black body. That is why you see someone wearing during summer some black shirt or black uh, uh, garments. They seem to be very very hot. If you go near them you feel the emission of radiation from their body. They are also feeling a lot of huh? uh, what? hotness because it absorbs all radiations. How long it absorbs? Till it gets saturated, then starts emission. Okay, see, emission of radiation by hot bodies, this is, I told you, particle nature and it is a discontinuous emission. For this, one experiment I will tell you. Look at this. You take some iron, normally in villages and all, uh, people uh, used to put on a wooden uh, uh, handle for some uh, cutting tool. A katti and the other, hardly a katti and I use martha, that's called hidi and the wooden uh, one handle to hold, you smart thing. So for that, that will be something it looks like this. So by the pulse zero figure like this, then later the iron part develops and it is looking like this. Finger okay. So here you have to have a wooden handle on the arc. This is a wooden handle to hold. So here what they have they used to put this in the charcoal frame. Charcoal, huh? Cutting it with the charcoal in the other link. Well, you know, again, look at this. I'll use a graph also. So, variation of heat capacity. So, you think uh, this is the wavelength of the uh, this radiation being emitted from the hot iron part, and this is the intensity. Uh, one word I will use intensity of the light. Intensity is the one sort of correct as the word. Early morning to uh, 6, 7, 8 o'clock light is done, that is intensity less. 9 o'clock intensity of the light is increasing. Hot 1 o'clock, huh? 1 o'clock, that is hot sunlight, sunlight, highest intensity. But the wavelength and frequency is same, that is visible light. And uh, even in the evening, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 6 30, like that, when you move, the intensity is becoming lesser, lesser. Cup, 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 intensity is not depending on what wavelength and frequency. Wavelength and frequency are dependent on one another. But intensity, okay, number of photons will depend. Only that one has to on the photons. Okay, so this is the intensity of the intensity Again, okay. So intensity and uh, wavelength graph, if you draw, okay. Here I'll tell you what happens. See, initially when you start heating, it becomes a dull red. Then when you further 
prolong the heating it becomes bright red still if you prolong heating particularly thinner part thinner part nantra ide hinge bend maadi aakara hor bidtare ige ee thinner part irutala that becomes whitish il ille red de irutha id whitish sapore irutha whitish and finally tip nodadre adu
रीच द सेम मैक्सिमम वैल्यू एंड फर्दर इंटेंसिटी डिक्रीज विथ डिक्रीज ऑफ वेवलेंथ ओके दैट इज हाउ यू व्हाट इंटेंसिटी एंड वेवलेंथ ग्राफ कैन बी ड्रॉन एंड व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस हियर इट आइट ब्लैक बॉडी यहां पर एमिशन ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಹೇಳಾಯ್ತು ಓಕೆ ಅದು ಬೇಕಾದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇದು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಬಟ್ ಇದು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಡಿಸ್ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಸ್ ಎಮಿಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಅದನ್ನ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಇದು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಾನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಮ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಕ್ಲಾನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಮ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಇದು ಬಹಳ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿಷಯ ಅದು ಅದು ಕ್ಲಾನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಮ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಸೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಬರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಿಡೋಣ ಕ್ಲಾನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಮ್ See this uh, electromagnetic radiations. Electromagnetic radiations. Particle nature. Understand? Particle nature are emitted. Are emitted. Absorbed. Absorbed. And propagated. And propagated in the this. Continuous manner. How is it? Here, that is called quantum manner. What is this manner? In terms of packets of energy called quantum. Now, if you are going to some detail, I will tell you. Look here. ಈಗ ವೇವ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆರ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆರ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಈಗ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎಮಿಷನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎಮಿಷನ್ ಆ ಡಿಸ್ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎಮಿಷನ್ ಇದೆ ಏನು ಹೇಳೋದು ಡಿಸ್ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ಅನ್ನಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ಯಾಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಮ್ ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಲೀಟರ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಹೋಲ್ ಮಾಡಿ 20 liter milk on the can of milk and milk make a hole into it and go on moving from one house to another house what will happen this is a continuous loss of milk however what is the packet spice loss adhe 20 liter milk na ardha ardha liter 40 packet hakali irudu understand half liter do 40 packets na hakali ಈ ಮನೆಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಒಂದು ಬಿಸಾಡಿ ಗೋ ಟು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಬಿಸಾಡಿ ಗೋ ಟು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಹಾಕಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಬಾಡಿ ತರಲು ಹೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಎಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ವೇವ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಸ್ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ವೇವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿ ವೆನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೇವ್ ನೇಚರ್ together when you have this called dual nature of radiation you have always want that dual nature two nature in that matter all the properties you can explain and the diffraction and interference also you can explain as well as the planck's quantum theory or the quantum mechanics is developed and that's why other force theory is here like that the quantum mechanics develop for the current discontinuous loss in the ಮತ್ತೆ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಈಗ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿವಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಮ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಮಿಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ಷನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿನೆ ಕಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಹೇಳ್ತೇನೆ ನಾನು ಐ ಟೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬೋರ್ಸ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಮ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತು ಹ್ಮ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಮ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಸೊ ಈಗ ನೋಡಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ okay a body is started heating it starts absorption discontinuous manner packet wise absorption emission okay tumba hot agide kandu ittidira this this red hot ball waves na horda aagta irutte hot waves na how it is it is in terms of packets of energy hinge hinge waves hot waves hot waves 
ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೀವಿ ವಾಟರ್ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಕಲ್ಲು ತಂಕರ ಬರ್ತದೆ ನೋಡಿ ವೇವ್ ಹೊಳೆ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಈ ಒಂದು ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಇದೆ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ಸ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಎಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಎಬ್ಸಾರ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ಸ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಇ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಚ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇದರ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಡ್ತೇನೆ ವೇ ಇ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಎಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇದು ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಕೂಡ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಜೌಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಜೌಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಜೌಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಬರೀ ಇವಾಗ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಕೊಡಲ್ಲ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಜೌಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇದು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನೋ ನ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ಬೈ ಆಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ವಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ವಲ್ ನೋಟೇಶನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಓಕೆ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಬಾಡಿ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಬ್ಲಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಮ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು so uh, we will take another concept now i think you can note down all these things huh? so what is black body black body is an ideal body you know right black body is there you know tell you sorry what about black body radiation radiation emitted by black body is from that body radiation black body black body is an ideal body is an ideal body which uh, emits which absorbs which absorbs and emits radiation radiation of all frequency and frequency all frequency uh, the radiation the radiations emitted by black body is called black body radiation ah the computer na hit madadaga nodi na nodide understand dappa iro part red da kande iruta tudi tudi iruta va sapurudu white white ish agi mattu tudige sapra iruta ad last ki bend maadi ya uda nodu koos bidta adu it appears bluish ad kaanade illa bluish hinga kanna kanna ಆ ರೆಡ್ ಇಶ್ ಬ್ರೈನ್ ಅಂತ ಕಾಣ್ತದೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ರೆಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗಂತ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಬ್ಲೂ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಯ್ತು ವೇವ್ಲೆಂತ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆದಂತೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಯ್ತು ಮತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಹೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಇದು ಸುಮಾರು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ವೇವ್ಲೆಂತ್ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಹೆಚ್ಚೇ ಇತ್ತು ಕಡೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಈ ತರ ಗ್ರಾಫು ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ not that much you know from something the huh? question will not be asked on this so please note this now we shall discuss another phenomena second uh, phenomena i told you to explain particle nature photoelectric effect or photoelectric emission is it okay so what is this look here look here what is photoelectric uh, effect uh, this is a thing this is a tube something is a glass tube similar to this tube you can think so there is a metal filament here it's a metal and uh, this metal has been maybe a cathodic compartment which can be with respect to a cell and here there is a filament which is connected to the anode compartment now you see this circuit is incomplete nothing like gas at all now you see what is this source of radiation to be sun this is
और फोटॉन्स फोटॉन्स ऑफ रेडिएशन आर स्ट्राइकिंग द मेटल द मोमेंट द फोटॉन्स आर स्ट्राइकिंग द मेटल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर इजेक्टेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर इजेक्टेड फ्रॉम द मेटल अंडरस्टैंड एंड वेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर इजेक्टेड सर्क्यूट इज गोइंग टू बी कंप्लीटेड इफ यू पुट सम बल्ब और एनीथिंग इन द सर्क्यूट so this is photoelectric effect now question is which metal i should use that exhibits photoelectric effect <coughs> those metals where the outermost electron is held to the metal nucleus by weak force and such metals are remember rubidium or your potassium rubidium cesium cesium rb rubidium is rb cesium is cs potassium is k so these three metals normally exhibit photoelectric effect it is not thermal emission remember photon from the visible light is striking the metal so definition is uh, simple the phenomenon of emission of electrons from the metal due to striking of the metals by a radiation or striking the metal with a photon of radiation of any radiation red you know ultraviolet red or visible light up to violet anything i write it here so for one one what is photoelectric emission the phenomenon of the phenomenon of emission of electrons electrons due to striking of emission of electrons from metal from metals due to striking of striking of photons of radiation is called photoelectric effect the carom board is called carom board the carom board striker is called striker or the coin board is called so coin electron oh it's called striker and the striker is photons so photons are the body board photons and then the thick body because light is made up of the planck's quantum theory packets of energy are that is called photon the phenomenon of emission of electrons from the metals due to striking of photons of radiation is called photoelectric effect so there are some points to know about photoelectric one point is this there is no time lag no time lag between striking of all photon and emission of electron idra artha eno photon bandu strike aagi amele hodaddalu carom board the example tara alla adu ondu hige helide na aa tara And then, as soon as it strikes the metal, electrons are emitted. There is no time lag. When the body goes to a level, it will be eight seconds later. The carom board. That is all. Simultaneous, almost. There is no time lag between striking of photons and emission of electrons. That is one point. 
Okay, another point, this is I think most important I feel. See, suppose every metal has a particular frequency or I will use the word minimum frequency or that is called threshold frequency. You know, every metal has a threshold frequency below which below which no photoelectrons are emitted. This frequency is called threshold frequency. The minimum frequency at which emission of photoelectron takes place. That is threshold frequency. One example I will give you so that you will understand. Take potassium metal. Potassium metal. So, you are new now, you will go on the test in the air, uh, say, uh, 10 to the power, on the approximately 10 to the power 14 in the air. Or I will write the exact values, maybe given in the book. Exact value in the air, it is given in the test book. Uh, it is 5. 
ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಕಿಂಗ್ ಫೋಟೋನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಎಷ್ಟ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಥ್ರೆಶೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಷ್ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಇನ್ನುಳಿದದ್ದು ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಗಿ ಆಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಗಿ ಆಡ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಥ್ರೆಶೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ನೀವು ತಪ್ಪಿಸ್ಬೇಕಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಈಗ ಸಮ ನಾನು ನೋಡಿ ಓಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ಯಾರೋ ಇದನ್ನ ಸ್ನಾಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಈಗ ನಾನು ಓಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಲ್ಲ ನನ್ಗಿಂತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಸ್ನಾಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಆಡ್ ಆಗ್ತದ ಅವಾಗ ನಾನು ಹಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ನೋ ಅಷ್ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಉಳಿದದ್ದು ಆಡ್ ಆಗ್ತದ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಆತರ ಅದು ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ When electromagnetic radiation, electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 300 nanometer strikes sodium metal, strikes sodium metal, electrons are emitted. electrons are emitted with the kinetic energy 1.68 into 10 to the power 5 joule per mole huh? per mole one electron is huh? per mole of electrons per mole what is the minimum energy needed to remove an electron from sodium what is minimum energy you not i do huh? minimum energy needed to remove an electron from sodium okay what is the maximum wavelength that will cause photoelectric effect a minimum energy minimum frequency maximum wavelength adhe kelta ra what is the maximum wavelength maximum wavelength that will cause photo electric effect what is minimum energy maximum wavelength you have to reciprocate to one another that's what we do okay so once you have to do when electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 300 nanometer frequency 
strike sodium metal. Electrons are emitted with this kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is put in the H nu cotyl is put in the H C by lambda. Lambda cotyl. What is the minimum energy needed to remove an electron? H nu not final particle. But if you put it in the vision, that's what you're going to do. What is this? Kinetic energy per joule. If you put it in the vision, that's what you're going to do. You are calculating kinetic energy per electron. Okay? So, if you put it in the vision, that's what you're going to do. Kinetic energy per electron. Kinetic energy per electron. Kinetic energy per electron. Is that correct? This three three cancel. 
minus 2.789 into 10 raised to minus 19. Okay. Now, do this by the help of calculator. Cancel. 6.626 into 10 raised to 7 plus 8 plus 7. 15. 15 minus 34. 15 34. Minus 19 only. Minus 2.789 into 10 raised to minus 19. 10 raised to minus 19 take common. 6.626 minus 2.789. Six point six two six minus two point seven eight nine. This becomes three point eight three seven into ten raised to minus ninety. Energy job job. Okay, job job. For more, if you want, what to into a bucket. What is the visible spectrum range? 
फोर हंड्रेड सेवन फिफ्टी फोर हंड्रेड रेस्पॉन्स टू वायलेट सेवन फिफ्टी रेड फाइव हंड्रेड वायलेट इंडिगो ब्लू सर ब्लू ग्रीन ब्लू ग्रीन रेंज इज द थ्रेश होल्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी रिमेम्बर फॉर सोडियम पोटेशियम गिंत सोडियम तेल कष्ट पोटेशियम गेल बंद यो बंदवा इन हय्यर फ्रीक्वेन्सी कड़े हूँ नो ब्लू ग्रीन रेज The threshold frequency new norm. The threshold frequency new norm for a metal is for a metal is seven point zero into ten raised to fourteen per second. Calculate the kinetic energy of an electron. कैनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन सिंगल इलेक्ट्रॉन नो नो नेट गो फॉर फॉर वन एनिमेटेड व्हेन रेडिएशन ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी व्हेन रेडिएशन ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी न्यू इक्वल टू 1.0 इनटू 10 रेस्ट टू 15 पर सेकंड Hertz per second, hits the metal. Mumbai simple, only. Hits the metal. 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 Hits एनर्जी ऑफ वन पोटर ना मारी फिर तो ये कोटेज न्यू वन पोटर 